Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Jabbering Magpie here. I thought I'd bring something a little different with old Grim Fandango now coming to the end. So we're going to play a short and spicy roguelike. Aptly titled Rogue Legacy. Anyway, I thought I'd keep this one nice and quick. It's filled with various amounts of deaths and an interesting lineage mechanic. So let's change our profile here. That's my previous game, Sir Hershey the Third of Hokage. There we go. Off we start. My duties are to my family. Ooh, ominous lightning. But I am loyal only to myself. And so we're in command of this little chap, so we can... Kick the shit out of these. Space to jump. Essentially, it's one of those games where you're going to die a lot, and after you die, you improve your character. So I thought I would keep it too. Once we die three times, the video is over. Again, keeping things nice, short, and very spicy. Oh, who is this chap? Ha! Huh. You can't beat me. Trust me, things get a hell of a lot more difficult. The entire castle gets randomised every time, and some of the times it's just there to fuck you over. I don't know why I'm smashing everything. I don't think you get to keep any of the gold after this. Oh, I hate those things. Yeah. Smash our way through this. And here we go, a lovely bit of stained glass. People jumping, a chalice, skeletons, demons. And now we kill this man. Dun dun dun, and the game starts. So, today we are stuck with Sir Lee. Who is a knight with... Absolutely no stats whatsoever. Compete at the training dummy. Who says such things as dust bow even? We have a magic spell, which is throwing knives. This is the most base character you can get. He is as basic as possible. Castle Hampson. So let's ha see how far we can get without dying. Ah, book. Journal entry number one. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father. The king. Um, I don't know anything about that. That wasn't me. Perhaps it was. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood at the edge of woods since time immemorial, but rumours say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Yes. This man has a lot of brothers and sisters. We're sort of pursuing the prince. And oh dear. It started. Fuck it. Run. Oh god. Oh let me hell. Ah. Take that, you fiends. So yes, that was our first taste of combat. Well, except for killing that Grey Knight at the start. So our basic aim right now is to try and make as much bloody money as possible. Yep. In your face. I'm not sure whether or not to make it a free death playthrough or a one death playthrough. It really depends at the start. It can make things a bit short, even if we go off just free. But I have been told, as a tip, to make my YouTube videos a tiny bit shorter. So let's take the advice. Go down here, what do we have? We have an eye shooting blood at us. Fantastic. Ah! Thought you got me there, didn't you, lad? Ooh, that was a bad plan. Oh, this is not going to go well. 
Get. There was fuck all there. Ooh. At these fancy shrines, we can pray for assistance. We get. Calypso's compass. Which is pointing us towards. Fuck knows. Let's go down. Nope! That is reserved for slightly hardier heroes than myself. This game can be psychotically difficult, especially if you have my hand to eye coordination. Ha, ah, got you. Ooh, lummy. Eat it. Thou faces the wrath of Sir Mags. Oh, and here is the boss. Actually, for the first go, this is going all right. And we found some armor. Knight helm. Yes, I think I might just make this a one-on-one -on -one death playthrough today. Though that is just inviting defeat, I do believe. Oh god! Evil painting. We're in the money! I'm richer than Kanye. Face it, that joke's not going to end. Age with time, is it? Jabbery Magpie providing timeless entertainment to all sorts of people. Fuck you! And fuck you! Yeah, usually when you start, it's best to head sort of that down or up and left and sort of clear out this side of the castle. Oh, another journal from the prince. Journal entry two. Although I am the eldest child, I am not my father's favourite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. Well, you were a troublesome child. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than a throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city, where once again we will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall devour as we pass. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities qu clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. Well, I guess that's a good cause as any. He's doing it for his family. Oh, dig! God, what the hell is that? Well, we've just killed a guy with a missile launcher. Lovely. Lots and lots of lovely gold. Through here? Yeah, I can never time these damn things. Oh god. <laughs> Get me, my friend. Shit. Well, he did do better. And he got me. Sir Lee has been slain by a Froston. That was a pretty damn good run. Okay, so now that we have unfortunately passed on to the afterlife, we choose an heir. So we have the choices of Lady Sonia the Knave, nostalgic with tunnel vision. Lady Henrietta, the knave of vertigo. No, God, I'm not doing that. Lady Antoinette, the barbarian with hypochondria. 
And she has a chakram, which is a shit spell. Fuck it, we'll have her. So we've unlocked our... This is our castle where we spend our gold, so we'll unlock the smithy. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritable, virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. And here we can upgrade things, so we'd want a bit of health, please. More health. Upgrade our knight, now we're a paladin and we can block. And let's just spam health a bit more. So now we're 210 health. Welcome hero, maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. What sods? Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back blueprints you find. I build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. At the price, of course. So, we have just managed to pick up a knight's helm. So, that upgrades our health and mana. We'll have that. And we also have the opportunity to purchase a squire sword if I hadn't to just spend all my bloody money like it was smarties. But we're getting a nice new hat. Anyway, I do believe this is a fine time to leave it. Or in fact, sort it. Let's go for a second run. One more. Can't hurt. This is Sharon. He's a bastard. He takes all your money every time you die. One must pay the toll. Give Sharon all your money and enter the castle. I know he's pronounced Charon or Caron, but I prefer calling him Sharon. You know, it makes him less scary. It makes him sound like, you know, the nice lady in counting or something. You know, it's Sharon's birthday. Everybody brings a cake into the office. And we all have a good news. Fucking Nora, straight to the action. Go. Down you go. There we go, and we've got the money. Bitch, better have my money. Do do. Awful song, but hey, it's got Mads Mickelson in it. Oh shit! Oh yes, that's the hypochondriac ability. We don't know how much damage we've technically taken. Okay. Time to do a retreat. Take out this chap. Take out that gambler. Kill him. Why is this here? Is there a secret up here? Oh god. Ah, another blueprint. Squire chest plate. Right now, let's handle the bottom. Ha! Ah. Missed me, now you've got to kiss me. Oh, yeah. Killing machine. This is going terrible. I've said that I'd do three deaths per video. Believing that I would, you know, be dead in approximately 2.8 seconds. And then I'm doing quite well. Sorry, fans. Well, I say fans, I'm sorry, like, whoever watches my videos. Possibly my mother. Oh god. Oh. Lorks. You're shooting me through the floor. That's not fair in any way. Yes, fortunately the barbarian has really, really high health.
And our hypochondriacism is the reason why we're taking about 5,000 damage per hit. Go down. I hate those little flaming bastards in dresses. We go, up we go, up we go, and we're fine. Hello, Mr. Zombie. So nice of you to drop in. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Fuck this. I'll just pop by there when nothing's trying to kill us. Money, money, money. Give me all the money. And chicken, please. Oh, for fuck. Oh, dear God. Aha. Uh -huh. No. Oh god, I need some kind of special ability to fly up there. That's a fairy chest, they contain cool shit. Yeah. No, 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 don't stand on the spikes, don't stand on the spikes, you fool. Fucking run. And run back. Yes, unfortunately we also do slightly less zombie. Ow. Jesus. Got him. Oh, for fuck's sake. And thus then ends Lady Antoinette. Slain by a spike trap. At least we kill the big bastard. Right, that seems like a good place to leave it. I hope you enjoyed that little quickie. Have a nice day, folks. This is a Jabber in my pie signing off. Ta-ra for now.